My name is Ray Norton, and I'm 18 years old. This is how climate change and pollution has affected me. One of my most distinct memories growing up in Detroit is going south on I-75. Smelling the pollution coming from Marathon and seeing the smoke and the fire on the freeway. I remember trying to hold my breath as long as I could, but eventually you have to breathe in. I've lived in Detroit my whole life. We bounced around a lot when I was a kid. We couldn't always afford to pay rent, and neither could a lot of my friends and family. I know that the planet is on a path towards destruction, and I know that it's caused by the same people who produce the smells and the smoke on the freeway. Poor people, minorities, and young people like me are facing violence and threats in our lives every day from a system that treats us like resources to be extracted. So this is my old neighborhood. The, uh, the wall that separates Detroit and Gross Point over there was, uh, was a big site for dumpers. Like um, business owners usually would come and you would see them dumping their trash, their, their tires or roof shingles. These houses are all built, I mean, you know, 50, some of them even 100 years ago across the city, and all of them are built with the methods of, you know, asbestos, lead. In our own house, we had lead paint chips, and whenever these houses get knocked down and burned down, you know, the neighborhood is, uh, is affected by that. We breathe that air in. I see these forces of oppression so clearly. I've come to realize, like a lot of young people, that it's our economy an economy ruled by profit, an economy that needs our environment to be disposable and needs people to be disposable. At the same time, I was seeing videos of young people across the country going to their elected officials and demanding action on the climate and pollution. I was arrested with other activists for sitting in at Nancy Pelosi's office and demanding a Green New Deal. Our generation is sick of a system that leaves us with no future and no hope for a better life. It's not you and me that has to change. It's the system that allows companies, shareholders, and billionaires to destroy our planet. The Sunrise Movement, to me, is about elevating young people to fight on the front lines of building a new, more just, more fair future. I've lived in pollution, in poverty, in climate change my whole life. As long as those things exist, I'll continue to struggle.